all nations. I didn't have to, but I chose to put together um, a, uh, and it'll be in, in this book I'm writing, it's called Joy Comes Through Life's Interruptions. Mm-hmm. It'll be what I read to the people at his funeral, his homecoming, homegoing service. And um, it just says that it was called our blueprint. The, or, he, the Lord put us together. I have no doubt. Mm-hmm. We met when we were 19 years old, but we'd never exchanged names, so we didn't know each other. <laughs> we danced at the Rick of Pum Pum. <laughs> wow. You don't have to let me know what that is. Because I, I, you know. We danced at the Rick of Pum Pum when we were 19 years old. Wow. But what, we didn't know that until after we were married. And we were at a, um, a party a couple of friends of ours gave. And a slow song came. He said, you want to dance? That's okay. Well, Willie was 6'3", and I'm 5'4". And he had a way, he couldn't put his arms around my waist. So he had a way of putting his arm over my shoulder and bringing me in and it was like muscle memory i remember dancing and nobody had ever ever danced with me like that right right. and i said wait a minute so when we got home i said excuse me i said have you ever been to the wreck of pum pum he says well i lived around the corner from the wreck of pum pum okay wow and so i said were you there in it was june of 1969 Mm. wow and he said well, I might have been home from college then, hmm. you know, or whatever. Wow. And so, yeah. So we are sure we danced together at 19. So the Lord had us together at 19. That was the night I met my first husband. Hmm. That's amazing how it all I zigged or- instead of zagged. <laughs> that is crazy. Do you, be- do you believe that, and this might be, you know, easy, easy putt, as a question, but I, I think there's something there for people to understand and even um, exercise and use it as their as their go to. Um, as I see you and how you've been explaining your life and, and everything and your journey, going to writing to realize all of these different things that sometimes we will forget. Mm-hmm. Um, do you believe that everyone should, even if they're not going to be an author? Exactly. But they should exercise writing. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 I really work hard to stay away from certain words like try, but, and should. Mm. I recommend mm. that they get a, a dollar composition book. Mm. They're on sale for 50 cents sometimes. Nice. And just, you know, set aside some time, go to the park. I, I have a park in Glasgow, uh, uh, Delaware. And there's a beautiful water fountain that I sit in front of, you Mm -hmm. know, and I just write. And uh, in the mornings I write. But yes, um, whenever I have someone who's lost a spouse, Mm. especially women, I don't think I've told a man to do this, but I tell them to keep a journal. Mm -hmm. Well, when Willie passed, one of my friends from church came to me and she said, Sister Deborah, um, I always want to thank you for telling me to write that journal. Her husband had been dead for almost 10 years she still writes keeps in a journal she says you don't she says you know how much it has it has really helped me and it does i go back i wish i had a picture to show you uh, maybe during the break I'll, I'll see if i can find it yeah but we'll put it up i have <laughs> all of my i have all of my composition books i don't even have i have about 100 composition books i i was taught growing up that well, I want to, I want you to finish what you were talking mm-hmm. about too. But I was taught growing up, um, in church, any anybody that God uses to speak over your life to write it down. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I, I would have, I, I don't, I don't, and I regret not having this anymore. Mm-hmm. But I used to in my youth mm-hmm. have this little composition book. Yeah write down the prophetic word of God over my life. Hey, God told me mm-hmm. I'm going to be this musician. Mm-hmm. God told me I will have um, a blessed marriage yeah. through the through the calling of music. I will have all of these different things, um, promises of God that, again, we can forget. Yeah, I think it's so important to write it down. It know? is. It is. It is. You know? And when you go back, as I was talking mm-hmm. about the composition books, yes. I can go back at any time mm-hmm. and read where I was kind of on the same day sometimes, mm. you know, um, because I'm putting together uh, Joy Comes Through Life's Interruptions, I'm looking at, going. I am going through, and a great tip 
for people who are writing. Mm. You don't have to. You don't have to type it. Mm. You can actually read it into Microsoft Word. Oh wow! Yeah, the dictator, the, the dictation, and it software. works beautifully. Awesome! It really does. Hi, this is Deborah Smart. I am here to give you a little tutorial on how to use Microsoft Word to actually write your document for you, especially if you're like me and I have all of these composition books that I have handwritten, and now I need to type it in uh, because I'm working on uh, my second book. Joy comes through life's interruptions. So I have little chunks of thoughts that I, I handwrite whenever I'm inspired. So let's just get to it. I'm going to share my screen. And this is, uh, I have Microsoft um, open. And what I'm going to do is go to, um, let's see, go to, there's a little icon over here that says Office Dictation. Uh, you can click on that. And it gets into the dictation mode. And the microphone here is to start di your dictation. And be very careful. Do not have any radio or television on at the same time because it will record their voices too. So I'm clicking on Dictation. I do not. <laughs> Finding joy. New line. Number one. My relationship with God is the foundation for my joy. Period. Number two. The more that I consume of the word written in the Bible, the, the bigger the reservoir of joy I build within myself, period, new paragraph. Delete, delete. New paragraph. What makes up joy? Question mark. New line. The emotion evoked by well-being, comma, success or goal for delete. Or by the prospect of processing what was one's desire, delights, or gaiety, period. New paragraph. Number three, timing. The right time brings joy. And that's from Ecclesiastics. There's a time. God gives you the vision. God gives you delete. Delete. Tells you how it will work for you. God will tell you when it will work for you. Period. New paragraph. Number four, finding my joy through singleness is my number one priority, period, new paragraph. Now, I turned the dictation off because I wanted to explain and I didn't want it to type my words. See where it has a new paragraph and words? What I do is I speak too quickly after I say period. You have to pause and then say new paragraph. Okay. Now, of course, there's a lot of editing that has to be done, but it's not as bad as if you had to type all these words yourself. So it's just a matter of me going through, deleting the 
duplicate word. And I want this to be capitalized. So capitalize each word. And I might want it centered. And I might want it bold. I might want it a larger. Now, where it says number one here, that really should be one. Okay. And so, again, it's, my, it's, it's basic editing. And then I want to indent this here. So I'll just bring that over and put a little, whoops, there's number two, sorry. There's two. So basically it's up to you to really go through and do the editing, but it does. If you have a really long um, document that you want to, to write, it saves the time of reading it and then just go, because you have to edit it anyway. There's no reason why, um, unless you're a, an extremely quick typist. Uh, so it's just a matter of going through and doing a real quick edit. And this saves me time. And it also allows me to not to procrastinate because I don't feel like typing all of these words. And I mean, you can fix everything up, uh, fix it up to make it look pretty. Oops. Sometimes this wants to, okay. And when you go take a look at the number of words that way, um, I mean, I, I, don't, I didn't time myself, but if I want to see how many words, the word count, okay, I read 37 words within a very short period of time. And mo most, most of the words I, you know, I had to edit, but still, I could do a really long document, but I, for the purpose of this training, I'm only going to do the short one. I just wanted to show you how. And again, you go to the dictate. And, you know, because a lot of people, they may do shorthand, mm -hmm. but, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going through my composition mm -hmm. and I'm reading off, um, themes yes. i call them themes and chunks and i'm i'm not much for formulas and yeah. all this other stuff i i i believe that we have been given all of us the gift to communicate mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of either you speak it or yeah. you write it but that's a great tech tip right there you know because yeah. nowadays that could be a frustrating part why people don't write exactly because it's just to, it's a lot or you can't you physically can't yeah you know um having that software that's exactly